Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought that I would do an empties video prior to my move because I'd rather just clear this stuff out now and then see what I can kind of amass and finish up during my last like month or so of living in an apartment because I know that I'm just going to go crazy with trying to finish up as many products as possible before I have to move just so that I don't have to move them. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would just dig into my pile of empties that I have. Um, not a ton since the last time, but still warranted enough for a video. First up, hair care. Obviously one of the products that can go through the easiest and I can always talk about in empties. Um, this is from Tresemme. It's from the Expert Selection. It is the Beautiful Volume Step 1 pre-wash conditioner. So this is basically when Tresemme decided that they would do the whole conditioner and then shampoo order. I have to say, I think I received this for free um, through some sort of program. Um, I despised the the two products like in the way that they set it up. The conditioner first and then the shampoo. My hair hated it. It wasn't moisturized enough. It was like really hard to deal with. But when I switched it back and I went from shampoo to conditioner, then I was fine. I really liked the shampoo. It was pretty good. And the conditioner is actually very nice and lightweight, which is perfect for summer because then uh, I don't have to worry about oil production and like things being too heavy in my hair. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good, but I do not suggest trying the switched order at all. I just don't. I just, I, no. It didn't work for me. If it worked for you, that's fantastic, but it certainly did not work for me. Another hair care product. This one is Herbal Essences. I do tend to just get all my um, hair stuff from the drugstore. Um, this is the Color Me Happy Color Safe Shampoo. I obviously dye my hair. Um, it's good. Like, I mean, it's a good first shampoo. So sometimes when, because I don't wash my hair every day, I wash it every two or every three days, sometimes even four days. Um, I do tend to need uh, to wash it twice. So what I'll do is I'll use a cheap shampoo the first time to try and get all the gunk kind of moving and kind of out of my hair and then I'll use a little bit better of a shampoo um, as like the second time because in that way it's like conditioning my hair and treating my hair nice but this is really just there to break up all of the oil and build up that's already in my hair and it does a really good job at that. I have a shower gel. Um, this is Paris Amour by Bath and Body Works. Um, I really like these these uh, body washes. It's pretty, I don't know, it's girly. Um, it says French tulips, assle, assle blossoms. That's not a word. French tulips, apple blossoms, and sparkling pink champagne. Yeah, I could. S yeah, I can. I can definitely smell like some sort of like apple blossomy with that floral with the tulips. Um, yeah, it's it's nice. I would definitely get it again. Another hair product. This one I've talked about in a favorites before too and I'm like I'm actually surprised it took me so long to finish this thing up. This thing lasted easily for over a year. Um, it's from Pantene. It's the Ultimate 10 BB Cream. It's a beauty bomb for your hair. Um, I use this when my hair is wet before I blow dry. I use it when my hair is wet and I let it air dry. Um, I'll use it after I straighten my hair to kind of tame any frizz. I'll use it after curling my hair to kind of um, again tame that frizz and just it just finishes it off nice. It kind of gives a little bit of shine back into the hair. Um, it's just really good and I'm already using like another product like this. This this type of product is a staple in my hair care routine. Um, but yeah so if you can find anything like this I just find that I can use it a ton of different ways and it does a ton of different things for your hair too. So that's always really nice. Um, so the skincare, this is from Avon. It's the Nutra Effects Active Seed Complex. This is the Radiance Cream Night. I think I talked about this in a favorites as well. Um, I basically tried to like scrape every single ounce of this out. Um, it's just a really great face cream. It hydrates really well. It didn't make my skin break out. Um, I didn't actually use this at night. Well, I did, but I also used it during the day um, just because I didn't see why I needed to use it just at night. Um, I mean, yeah, it was just really good. It hydrated really well. It was good during the winter too. It wasn't too light um, for my dry skin, but yeah, I actually really liked it. I like this better than the purple one, which I think is like the anti-aging one from the Nutri-Effects. Um, I really liked this Radiance one. Um, so yeah, 
don't be shy about this using it during the daytime because it's not overly thick and it won't clog your pores or anything like that. Deodorant. Um, this is basically the only deodorant that I use. Um, it's from Secret, the Scent Expressions Cocoa Butter Kiss Scent. It works really well. It smells really good. That's all I really need to say. Um, I have an eye makeup remover, um, which is not my usual one, um, but it's from Wet n Wild. It's the makeup remover and it's a micellar cleansing water. Um, it is one of the dual phase ones, so you do have to shake it up. I mean, it worked pretty well. It didn't do as well as my Marcel one, um, but I mean, it did a decent enough job. If you don't wear waterproof mascara, this will work very well for you, but if you do wear waterproof mascara like me, um, you just have to kind of kind of hold it on your eye for a little bit longer, which I don't really love, um, but it did a decent enough job. Another hair product is from Batiste. This is my favorite dry shampoo. This is from the sweet, and, this is not from, this is the sweet and delicious sweetie scent. I didn't like this scent at all. It was, no, it was just way too much. I just didn't like it at all. I really just like the original scent the best. I find that it works the best, um, but yeah, this scent was just a little bit too sickly sweet for my liking. Just a little tiny one, but this thing lasts forever. It's the Benefit Stay Don't Stray. It is a, like, primer for both um, eyeshadows and concealers. Um, I've used it for both. I prefer it as an eyeshadow primer, um, but this, this little tiny thing, like, easily last it a while. I don't use it every single day, only when I'm like going out or I'm going to be out in the heat for a really long time. Um, so I would say that this little sample lasted me probably, I want to say at least a year with just that like off and on use, but I do really like it. Um, it comes in like a light and a deep one, so if you do have darker skin, they do have a deeper one, so then that way you don't have to worry about like too light of an eyeshadow primer on your eyelids. Setting sprays, there are several in this empties. Um, first one is my absolute favorite, the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This is the cooling and hydrating one. Um, they've recently reformulated this, put it in new bottles, and I actually hate the new one. I hate the way it smells, I hate the way it feels, it doesn't have like that cool cooling sensation. It doesn't seem to be as hydrating as this one. So when these ones went on sale on Sephora, I think I bought two or three of them just so that I would have them um, in the future. It works really well if you have dry skin. It sets your makeup, but it doesn't dry out your skin. And if you do really want an extra boost, then just follow this up with another setting spray, one that's more of like that heavy duty setting spray, and then your skin won't hate you. This is Paula's Choice. It's just like a deluxe sample size of the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid. Basically it's salicylic acid. This thing though it works so well to clear up my skin. Um, my whole jawline has been broken out the last little while and I have found that this has really helped um, along with the Mary Kay mask that I talked about in my favorites. Um, but yeah this is pretty good um, and it lasts quite a while. Um, and I just put it like on my in my palms of my hands and then I just like patted it on wherever but it says to like use a um, cotton ball. I don't think that's necessary. I just put it on with my hands. Now there's setting spray. Um, this one is from NYX. It's the dewy finish um, setting spray. This one's actually pretty good um, for a drugstore for a hydrating per kind of um, setting spray. It definitely doesn't make your skin look completely matte. Um, I really liked it, and it's maybe like 10 bucks at the drugstore in Canada, so that's a pretty good deal um, in comparison to that Urban Decay one, which is a little bit higher up in price. There's another setting spray, and this one, like, I just couldn't get anything else out at the bottom. This is from Essence, and it's the Keep It per Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. It is so good. This is so good. For it to be drugstore and so inexpensive, like... I can't believe how good this setting spray was. It set my makeup, it didn't dry out my skin, it didn't break up the makeup, it didn't make it, I don't know, settle into things. I've had makeup setting sprays that just kind of like almost disintegrate the makeup by the end of the day. It just worked super well and of course I can't find it anywhere at Shoppers. It's like they don't even have it so if you know where to get this please let me know because I need like three bottles of it because it's, I want to say it's like five bucks something like that, like stupid and inexpensive. So yeah, if you know where to get this, please tell me in the comments, please. Finished up a foundation, um, my favorite, hands down my favorite foundation right now, uh, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I'm in the shade 105. 
Um, I already have another bottle, basically. I think I only have a third left of it. This thing goes on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart for $5.99, which is crazy. Amazing coverage, long lasting. Um, I'd say about a medium coverage, but you can build it up. It works on my dry skin. It works on my friend Sam's oily skin. What else can I say? It's so good and everyone needs to try it. I have a brush cleanser. This is from Beauty So Clean. It's the conditioning brush cleanser. Um, this one you can just spray right onto the brushes and then wipe them off and it basically dries within um, a minute or two. So then that way if you need to use your brushes again, um, you can pretty quickly. Um, it's really good. It does its job. I have another one. It's like the deep clean one. I actually do prefer this, like just the regular conditioning brush cleanser though. Okay, um, eyebrow pencil, my usual, the Annabelle Skinny Brow Liner in Universal Dark. I absolutely love this. Very comparable to the NYX Micro Brow and the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Can't go wrong with this. Um, I have a concealer. This, I'm happy I'm finally done this because I was not super happy with this. Um, it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade Y23. These came out, I want to say, a year, about a year, maybe a little bit more than a year ago. It took forever for me to get through it just because I wasn't a huge fan of it. The coverage was good, it didn't crease over really well, but I hated the packaging that it came in. It was just a little bit too hard. Like, there's still product in here that I can't get out. Um, I mean, I could cut it open, but then, then it's open and ugh. Um, I mean, it was alright, but I really enjoy some other concealers a lot more than this one. Uh, mascara, which I absolutely love, I've talked about numerous times, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. One of my favorites, if not my most favorite mascara in Sephora. Um, it's just really good and it's just a really great waterproof formulation. Another concealer, um, this is the, again from Too Faced, um, this is the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer and I'm in light. I really liked this concealer, mainly for my face, so I didn't love it underneath my eyes, but on my face it was fantastic. Um, I have uh, a review up of it on my blog as well. Um, it's been out for just over a year, um, or just about a year. It, I got this at Gen Beauty last year, um, and it's just, it's just really good. I actually really want to try the foundation just because I've enjoyed the concealer so much. Oh my god, another setting spray. Could you tell that I like used up all of my setting sprays all at once? Um, this one is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Um, this one is my absolute favorite if it is super hot, humid out. Um, this thing made my makeup last during my Vegas trip last year, so um, I can't beat this for anything for really hot temperatures. Um, it is a little bit expensive, but I mean, you want your makeup to last in those scenarios, um, so yeah, this one is just really good. I like it better than the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. And then last but certainly not least, I have another mascara. It's the Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Volume Express, and this is again waterproof. I love this mascara. It's so good. Um, the wand is pretty tiny, which you can see here, it kind of tapers a little tiny bit. It's just so good. Um, I find that two quotes do a, like a, amazing things to my lashes. There's nice length, there's a nice bit of volume, especially like right at the base of the lashes. It doesn't um, come off during the day. It's relatively easy to remove at night because Maybelline does make some really tough to remove waterproof formulations, but this isn't one of them. Um, so that's always really nice as well. But yeah, I already have another tube of this that I've already cracked open. Um, but yeah, it's just really good. If you haven't tried this one yet, this might be one of my most favorite Maybelline mascaras that I've tried in a really long time. Okay, that's it. Those are all my empties pre-move. Uh, keep an eye out for any declutter videos or um, I'm going to try and keep all my empties as well and then film it right before I move. We'll see about that, or just move it to the new place and then film it once I'm there. I don't know. We'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah, if you guys have done any recent empties or whatnot, please link them down below in the comments so I can go watch them. And that's about it. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>